think that's good, right? Yeah, that looks good. Okay. So I'm going to start it out first, and then I'm going to bring you in, okay? All right. Okay. Three, two. We still need to eat healthy, even though we're quarantined, sheltering in place, but sometimes it can be kind of hard. So I bring in my chef, Brandon from Bar 145. Brandon, so good to see you. I'm in my kitchen, and you're in your kitchen. How are Help you? Help me out. Good to see you. Good to see you, too. It's been a while. What, what are you going to make? Uh, today we're going to make some salsa real quick. Yeah, it's well, fast, it's easy. You got everything you need. Most most of your refrigerators at home probably have those items. You know, Plus, I haven't I know been to the grocery store in a while, Brandon. I don't think I have anything. Well, luckily, hopefully, uh, people's gardens will be ready to go here pretty soon, too. And most of the stuff can be found out there. So okay. uh, it's easy, it's healthy, it's economical. So. But I don't have anything, Brandon. I don't know what you're Go take a look in your fridge. My fridge? Oh. Yep. Take a look and see fridge. what you got. I just checked this earlier and it's empty. We have tomatoes. We've got tomatoes. Onions. What else do you need? Onions. Okay. Uh, we need some lime, some cilantro. Okay. Some garlic. Okay. A little salt and pepper. All some right. sugar. Oh my god. Okay. Green onions. I did. I found some tomatoes. You know the, best thing, the best thing about salsa is there's so many different variations. If you don't have those things, substitute something else or just leave it out. It'll be okay. fine. So I found, you told me to get tomatoes. These are Romas, are these okay? Romas are a great, great way to go with salsa. Uh, nice you sweet. know, green onions. Yep, you got red onions in there, I see. I mean, I don't know where these came from because I didn't have any groceries just a moment ago, so you must be magic. <laughs> They're always in the fridge. Okay, They're always in the fridge. Now, can I use this garlic, is this okay? Because see, I didn't have any real garlic, is it okay? Absolutely. All right, all right. And what else did I need for seasonings? Uh, salt and pepper, a little sugar. We got some chili powder and some cumin that we're going to put in there today. A chili That's powder. <clears throat> jalapeno. Oh, oh, a jalapeno. Hey, look. Oh, you said limes. A lime yep. in the coconut. All right. What are we making? How are you doing this? <laughs> all right. We're just going to do a rough chop on all those. It doesn't have to be fancy. I got some stuff laid out here for you that we're going to run through. Okay. Um, I guess we'll start with our green onions. Okay. You just want to cut the ends off of those. Okay. How many do you want me to chop up? Just a couple is fine. Couple? Yep, and you'll need to cut those into thirds. Again, all this is just going to be a real rough, easy chop. It doesn't have to be fancy. We're going to take all of our ingredients and throw them in a bowl. Whatever you got is fine. Are you pureeing this? Yes, we're going to throw it in a, in a blender. We're just going to pulse it a few times here and there. Uh, food processor, blender, whatever you got. Uh, I know probably most people got what they need at home for that. I have to dig that out. I have something called an Oscar. I don't know, it's just kind of little. Okay, onions are done. All right, then you want to go to your tomatoes. I got those here on my cutting board. Okay. Again, just you want to quarter those, third them, whatever, whatever makes the most sense. As okay. long as we can get all the ingredients in the uh, blender, we okay. should be okay. Oh, you know what? I could get my bullet out, couldn't I? But take the yeah. little, how many tomatoes do I want to put in there? If you're using Roma's, probably about six. Okay. Oh, okay. I've got five, so this one, this is only a single That's serving for me. That's <laughs> enough. Again, with, with, with salsa, you know, it's so versatile. There's so many different options. It doesn't need to be perfect. You're going to get, Good. you're going to get the end result. That's all that matters. So far, we've only done this for just, you know, really fast. Yeah. Fun cooking together in each other's kitchen. <laughs> Any social act interaction at this point is worth it, so we can do this all day. You know, I think you made a good point, is that a lot of this stuff is going to be in our garden pretty soon. So, all right, now I've done the oh, green oh. onion and the tomatoes. Okay, yeah, oh, my throw gosh, all that in bowl. That's all right. A red onion now? Yep, which if you got a large onion, about a third, I'll like send you over the uh, exact recipe so you can get a consistent salsa. But, you know, again, it's one of those things that... You can do it however you'd like. It all depends on what kind of flavors you like as well. How do you like it more spicy, less spicy? You well, know, here's more the fun fact. I don't know if you remember from when we were cooking before at my other kitchen, um, but I could, I'm i kind of allergic to onions, so I shy away from these, but I'm sure that other people will like this. If you don't want that strong onion, but you still need the flavor out of it, shallot's always good. Your body will actually digest the shallot a little bit, a little bit better than the red onion. It's easier on the stomach. Okay. Hey, how's everything been going at bar 145? 
we're good. We've yeah. um, done a little remodel. We've done yeah. a lot of cleaning, a lot of organizing. Uh, we're working on a new menu. We recently um, teamed up with a new head chef who's excited to come on board and get a lot of new things done. So that, oh, again, I that's... Uh, I can't wait to come back in. It. It's, uh, you know, we, we can't wait to get back in. Everybody's excited. We all miss the place. Yeah. I know uh, a lot of our guests, uh, you know, equally miss it. So we're doing the best we can, but we're doing what we're told. So okay. playing it I, safe. Me too. I'm at home. And that's why we're together. So I've got the big tomatoes. I've got the onions. Two kinds of onions. Now what? Yep. Uh, oh, we jalapeno. use jalapenos. This one's a you carrot want to start with your your lime. little hot tamale. How do I do this? I forgot. Cut off the end. So if you got your, uh, you got your jalapeno, you want to cut the stem off? Yeah. We're going to cut it down the middle. Okay. You know, you can cut it down again. Hold on, I have to take a picture for later because I know that somebody will want to see this. <laughs> Social media. <laughs> I'll take a picture of you too. The only thing that we have <laughs> left right now, right? I know. So, okay, I want to show everyone. It's like this. So now what do right, I do? I don't want to touch cut that. Cut that down the middle again in okay. the fourth. Okay. Done. And then don't rub your eyes. Don't rub my eyes. What I'm do not you want to do? Touch so my face anyway. So this is, uh, yeah, right? This is the, uh, you know, this all comes down to whether or not how hot you want your salsa. So okay. the hotter you want it, the more seeds and membrane you want to leave inside that jalapeno. Okay. Otherwise, you know, take your knife and you want to run it down the center. Yep, run it down the center of that and cut out that membrane and all those, and all those seeds. Okay. I'm gonna turn so it basically, on what you want to be left with essentially is a jalapeno that looks like so. Okay, almost looks like a green pepper. Okay. Yep. Here, because here, here. all the heat stays in the seeds and all that. So again, if you want it hotter, leave some seeds behind and use those. I think the people in my family are kind of sissies, so we're gonna go for the low heat. So yeah, you want to cut out all those seeds, wash them off real good, and get out everything you can. My mom, though, she absolutely loves it hot. Isn't that crazy? She yeah. Loves it hot, and I haven't been able to see my mom. That's a bummer. Hold on, That's I have to rinse this off because I don't want seeds. And this is my house. Gotta, <laughs> I was watering plants. Hey, you know, this you're my house, Brandon. This is what we do. <laughs> that's fine. Can I can I rinse this off too? Because I don't want all this hot. Absolutely. Okay. Hold on. You and I have spent a lot of time cutting vegetables. Yes, we are. I bet you do. Okay, so now I've got them like this. What do you want now? Go ahead and just cut those in half. Cut them in half. Okay. So you kind of end it. Just throw those in the bowl with everything else. Okay. Cool. Got it. I want to make sure it wasn't my scrap bowl. Because I have a bowl on my scrap. Oh, it probably good. would taste good too, right? Probably. Probably. Anything in a blender, you know? <laughs> yeah. So, I know that you make some good beverages for sure. Hold on a moment. Hold on a minute. Hold on a minute. Hold on a minute. Hold on a minute. My battery's low, I gotta plug it in. <laughs> okay, no problem. So funny, Zoom calls make these things just suck your battery right down. Okay, okay, now let's see. Well, I'm supposed so we to ended get off the blender out. With the jalapenos. I don't have a fancy blender like you, but I'm gonna use this one. Okay. Okay, so now we're back. Okay. Okay, Brandon, now I have the tomatoes, the jalapeno, the other two kinds of onions. Anything else? Um, yeah, we're going to do a little bit of garlic, a little bit of cilantro, and okay. uh, what else do we have? Uh, just our seasonings after that. Okay, I lime used juice. this, but I didn't chop any up. Is that okay? That's fine. So I have a couple fresh garlic cloves here. Um, again, garlic is one of those things where it's up to you what you want to do with it. I'm going to throw, you know, two larger size cloves in there. So maybe a couple. Perfect. Yeah. Exactly. And if you have to ask yourself, can I measure with the end of my knife? Sorry. <laughs> <What's that? laughs> I'm measuring with the end of my knife. Good enough. Right? Oh, that's fine. That's how you taught me to be a chef. All right, now right. what? <laughs> if you have to ask yourself, did I put enough garlic in it? The answer is no. <laughs> garlic garlic is, is a key ingredient. <laughs> Gar uh, so garlic? Absolutely. <laughs> couple couple cloves of garlic. You got your limes? I have what? Lime? Limes. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, I'm I hoping I like. One, 
I'm only going to go with one line. I got one big line here. Okay. You, you want to over saturate with lime? I got oh my, my juice here. Oh my gosh. I don't have one of those things. <laughs> Bar and restaurant business. These things, oh, man. <laughs> these things come in handy. Cut them in two, right? Yep. Go ahead and squeeze that lime juice right in your bowl. I'm going to do that the old fashioned way, everyone. For all of you back at home that don't have those fancy tools, we're just going to squeeze it. I did roll it first so it wasn't as. That's good. <laughs> You're, you're picking you up. You can fast, also huh? heat it in the microwave just for a few seconds too. Just a little tip there, chef. Never heard that. This is not good. And we don't have a microwave. I do here at home, but <laughs> not, not as oh, well, no microwave. Most no of us that are allowed. not chefs do don't have microwaves. Okay. Right in the garbage with the microwave. <laughs> Stop. Now what? I'm still squeezing the lime. <laughs> If, you're, if your salsa seems a little dry and you think you didn't put enough lime in it, just give it time because as it sits, it's going gonna, it's gonna to liquefy a little bit more once you get in the blender and all that. Um, so don't worry. You want to you wanna let it sit anyway. The more it sits, the more flavor is going to come out, and it's going to end up being a great product. Okay. So I think the last key Can I save this one for a beverage later? We're going to have a beverage here real quick. Hey, now what? It's Sunday, Sunday morning. It's a great time to have a beverage, especially when you don't have anything to do. <laughs> I got projects. Five o'clock somewhere. Sure. <laughs> I got projects. It's got <laughs> it's always good. Now what, Chef? All right. I think the last key ingredient right now is the cilantro. Okay. So okay. what you want to do is take a, a handful, about a third, third of a cup, and you're going to want to pull it off the stems. Okay. Problem. Um, I didn't have any cilantro because you know the the grocery stores sure. uh, didn't have any, and there wasn't any fancy cilantro in my refrigerator like you know the other stuff you just left me. Sure. I happened to grow some. Wow, look at that. Are you impressed? I absolutely <laughs> am. <laughs> Bam! All right, how much do I need? I'm, of this not, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna lie to you. I had to go to the store and get my cilantro today, so you're <laughs> one ahead of me. All right, so do you want the whole thing? Because I mean, that's why I grow it. I want to cook with it. Yeah, you're going to probably want to use a good handful, so that's probably pretty, pretty so close to what sorry. you're going to need. I'm sorry, Charles. We've had a good life together, but you're getting a haircut. All right, Dems and all. He no feels problem. useful, I promise. I know. That's good. I really love growing herbs, and you know, Brandon, um, I'm going to be doing a whole bunch of garden segments for people, too, so that'll be fun. Okay, here's all my well, I'm working on mine all day today. All right, yep, good. Uh, just a rough chop? Rough chop. You know, try to keep as many stems out of it as you can, but if you get some in there again, not a big deal. Go ahead and throw that in your bowl as well. There's a lot of stems. That's fine. Not a problem. Don't eat my salsa. <laughs> now what? <laughs> We're going to do about a half teaspoon of cumin. Oh, cumin. Uh, yep. Oh, I have some. How much? Uh, about a quarter teaspoon. Half okay, teaspoon. This is how much I use my cumin. It's not open yet. The lid stuck. <laughs> oh. no, I hadn't opened it yet. <laughs> how much? Half a teaspoon. Half teaspoon. Okay. Half a teaspoon. All right, it's the purple one, just so you know. Okay. Lighter all silver. Done. I know you're fancy. <laughs> no, yeah. that's not fancy at all. <laughs> and then uh, we're gonna do a quarter teaspoon of chili powder. Okay. Now that was a surprise. I'm using a hot style chili powder because I like oh. a little spice here. <laughs> it's been a while since I've used chili powder too, so this is new. Apparently. Sorry. That's the new method. Just use your teeth. There you go. <laughs> 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 You're at home, right? It doesn't matter. That. Be nice now. <laughs> Quarter teaspoon. Now why the chili powder? Chili powder adds a little bit of heat, adds a little flavor. Right. But again, not enough to be overwhelming, so you're not going to... You know, no one's going to jump out of their seat when they take a bite. All right, this cool. That looks great. Right. Little salt and pepper. Salt and pepper. Yep, just a couple pinches. Hey, just an FYI, I got this from Alaska last summer. It was very good. Let's try it sometime. Alaska. Alaska, salt. yeah, pink, pink salt. I it's they good call stuff. It spit salt. I went to Homer, and they have a thing called the spit. And uh, so they call it spit salt. It's kind of funny. But it's a beautiful place. I'm going to go there again this summer. Okay, salt and pepper. Yep. Uh, sugar. Hey, weren't you impressed? I had actual grinders. I wasn't just like. I'm impressed you have all this stuff. <laughs> Food processor and yeah. everything. <laughs> all right. Now what? About a quarter sugar? teaspoon of sugar. A 
teaspoon of sugar. Hey, do you recognize this? Oh, a about a quarter bean? teaspoon. Quarter. You gave me this, so it's my turn. Those containers, those are great. Jeez, yeah, this is from you. Quarter teaspoon. That's it. I mean, I guess I'm yeah. sleeping off, right, Brandon? <laughs> That's, That's what they told <laughs> That's your line. <laughs> now what? We're going to put all that in the blender and we're going to be oh. good to go. Okay, now I don't have a fancy blender like you. I have this little Oscar, so I might have to do mine in two parts. No Are you going to blend? Nope. Okay, so people at home, you if you don't have a fancy blender like him, you know, just improvise. This Over isn't even that fancy of a blender, is it? I don't know. I just, I never have a good experience with blenders. So I have a bullet, which I use a lot for my smoothies. Um, that's really I good. I bet. And, uh, this little guy I usually use for my um, cranberry thing I make for Christmas. So, okay, here I go. All my stuff. All right, get everything you can in there. And if you do have this blender, I'm just gonna go ahead and do the pulse. Yeah. Um, about 10, 12 times. Cause you don't want yours as probably as mixed. This part's all up to you, depending on how chunky you like your salsa. You know, if you want to just do it a couple of times and have larger chunks, or you want to keep doing it and get, you know, more of a, you know, thin, non-chunky salsa. So, again, it's your decision. Very technical. Very thin, non-chunky. <laughs> Ooh. I actually made this yesterday. Yeah. Found out that 12 pulses is the perfect amount. <laughs> you did your homework. I am so proud of you. I did. <laughs> so I have some done here that I made yesterday. I'm going to dump this out so you guys can kind of see what we're looking okay. for, the end result. So here we go. Oh, here we go. At the end, this is kind of where... I like to be as far as the thickness of it, the size of the vegetables that are in there. Okay. Yours looks a little more juicy than mine. It's because I had that fancy lime juicer. Oh. God. So if you, have, if you have, if you want it to be like, again, after this sits though, it's going to start to liquefy a little bit more. It's going to draw out all the acid from the tomatoes and whatnot to kind of break down some of that other stuff. Right. So if, if it does look a little dry, just give it some time. And you should be good to go. Show me yours. I show great. you mine. You know, I got this <laughs> nacho, nacho ordinary salsa bowl. No. Oh, you are fancy. I just bought my little. fancy spoon that says Mexican on it. <laughs> you have all the utensils because you're a chef. Well, no, right, let's, let's try it. I found, hey, look what, else, look what else I found. Some chips. Oh. <laughs> got it. I beat you to it. You already have yours in a serving dish, of course. You probably don't even put the milk container on the table, do you? Uh, no, it goes in the... Stop. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you going to give it a try? I am. Okay. Let's see. Mine could be a little... I could let mine sit for a little bit, but... Cheers. 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 Mmm. Mmm. Muy bueno. Very good. It's nice and refreshing. It's good for a summer day, especially a Sunday afternoon. Yeah. But if you're going to have salsa and chips on a Sunday afternoon, you got to have at least a cocktail or two, right? Okay. What better than a margarita? <laughs> I, absolutely. <laughs> and I made you one. I don't have any margarita stuff, Chef. Yeah, you do. I made you one. Oh. Oh, hey, look at this. this. Ta-da. <laughs> I'm up right here. Yeah. Are you going to cheers with me? If you want to keep it going with the salsa. Yeah. You know, if you like it spicy, as we were talking earlier, take some of that leftover jalapeno you got. Just dip it in your glass, add a little spice to that, and it's the perfect mix to your salsa. A little that. I do have my lime in there. How about that? There you go. Cheers, Brandon. Always great to be Cheers. with you. Thank you so much. And we love this recipe. We'll post it on our website. Oops. And of course, here's to a great summer ahead. Absolute pleasure. Thank you so much. Cheers. Much appreciated. Wow, that was fun. <laughs> <laughs> it was good and quick and fun. 
Yeah, what's really good is that both of us are on the same side of the kitchen. It would have been kind of funny had we been face to face, you know what I mean? Like the opposite side. But that worked out really good. I hope I don't look fat. Shut up. So I hope I don't look fat. You look great. <laughs> Likewise. And I had to, to say, you, I had to say on TV, uh, you show me mine, I showed you your, or I showed you mine, you just show me yours.